you pretty much become what you believe. You know, if I spend 90% of my day just producing music and I do that for a year straight, regardless of if I have a side job or not, if I'm spending most of my time making music, the universe comes in and puts a spotlight on me. This is all you do, this is kind of your calling. You gotta really trust the universe and trust yourself and eventually you will become the thing that you think of the most. Yo, what's good? I like that intro, baby. So I'm playing around with this uh, little intro, um, intro vibe. You know what I'm saying? I want this shit to feel like you're at a movie theater uh, when you're tuning in. So, yo, happy Monday. What's up, everybody in the chat room? Um, can you guys hear me okay? Everything is working. Everything is straight. Everything feels good. Um, yes, no, good, good, good. Um... As you can see, I've been putting a lot of thought and love and energy into uh, making this channel as lit as possible. So, um, you know, I don't want this to just be like any other fucking YouTube experience. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I had to I had to step my game up and uh, and really just put some time into this. And uh, we're going to make it as best as it can be during this quarantine. Even after the quarantine, uh, you know, I'm still going to be. Uh, doing these because it's like why not i'm in here anyway you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> anyway shout to everybody in the chat room i see you guys bufo what's up major dav what's good alan what's up um all you guys tuned in live uh monday morning you know wherever you are in the world um hopefully uh you are doing all right you're doing okay um you know it's april already i feel like for some people time is going slow for some other people, time is going pretty quickly, um, but hopefully you're spending your time um, in the best way you can while we're all in this global quarantine thing. I don't want to, you know, dig too deep into that, um, but we are here to try to make the best of it. You know what I'm saying? I think we can all learn a lot from this experience. So <clears throat> we're here. Shout to you guys who have been tuning in to my live broadcast here on YouTube. Um, you know, this is really just basically centered on making beats and showing you guys my process for a long time. Um, and, you know, I won't talk too much. We'll get right into it. But, you know, for a long time, I just kind of told myself, like, you know, whatever my process is by making beats, like, I've never really thought about taking the time to, like, show my process to people. And I played around with it here and there, like, a few years ago, like, with the Platinum Club and different things but I never really like jumped into detail because I never really knew uh whether or not people were really interested in like watching this stuff you know I know some of these streams could be more than an hour long um but from the feedback I'm getting uh there's people out there that really fuck with watching me make beats and you know I really appreciate you guys who fuck with it and take the time to be interested in doing it um so shout to you guys uh you know who show love uh make sure obviously make sure you subscribe to my channel um if you fuck with the content and you guys know i have different content up here too like you got my podcast you know interviews and the black cams which is you know more insight to how i like to interact with different producers and shit like that so um yeah man i'm just out here trying to have fun and hopefully inspire you guys you know what i'm saying with your craft because i know a lot of you guys obviously are producers some of you guys are rappers, some are singers, and if there's anything I could do to uh, create some kind of content for you to become inspired by or empowered by to, like, get you to uh, be able to do your shit and to inspire you to, like, move forward with your career, that's really what this is all about at the end of the day. That's the whole point of all of this. So, um, yeah, maybe we're going to make a slapper today. And like I said, um, we're doing this, I do this every day, Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. Eastern, um, same time, same place. You know what I'm saying so. Um, again, make sure you subscribe if you fuck with with uh, the channel. Um, and yeah, man, we're about to make a slapper, bro. So let's do this, man. Uh, check. Ugh, this shit is becoming more and more official by the day. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Um, Let's see where we can start. You know, I'm going to start. I'm going to just, like I said, when I make beats, um, you know, I uh, I like to just trust my instinct. I don't like to sit here and be like, oh, my God, like, what kind of what kind of joint do I want to make? Like, wh who, sh who should I do this for? Like, I really don't give a fuck about any of that right now. Like, when I'm create about to create, I really just 
like to uh, prioritize uh, my instinct and not overthink anything. So you, you're going to really figure out that like a lot of my stuff is on the draw, really quick on the draw. Just about to go, 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 go. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody who fuck with the cookie formula, you know? Um, I'm glad you guys like it. It's my favorite. Let me know in the ch let us know in the chat room um, if you have made the cookies and what your experience was, positive, negative, uh, how you did it, um, what the process was like, if you tweaked it, like if you added any sugar or honey, or whatever, which is fine, um, or switched it up and made oatmeal ones. Like, let us know. You know what I'm saying? Like those cookies are lit. Anyway, let's let's jump right into this, shall we? Yes, yes, we shall. Shout out to my guys, Explosive and Abaz. Uh, they did some shit with Lil Nas X recently on the album, and they've done a bunch of stuff. They're from Germany, but they got fire loops. I'm, I might fuck with one of their loops. issue with this one i think that could be a smash the only issue is that it just sounds too similar to god's plan so if i were to flip this i would just i wouldn't do like the the usual like expected type of drum pattern and bass programming but um i don't know i might not even fuck with that but let's just keep This is Smash right here, bro.
Fellas, 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 ladies, lady, maybe one or two women in here. We need more female producers, man. I know you're out there. Anyway, I think this is done, man. This is finished, man. This is finished, bro. This, yo, I need to put some WD-40 on my fucking chair, bro. This shit is squeaky, squeaky.
Um, this is done, bro. This is done. Yo, I even put EQ on my vocals, so hopefully my vocal is clearer right now. Um, yeah, man. You guys fuck with this shit? Who do you, who do you guys hear on this? I, actually, you know what? Matter of fact, um, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Look at that. Look at this beautiful, beautiful feature. Uh, we're going to start doing uh, some interactive Q&A after the beat. You know what I'm saying? So this is uh, our little segment here we're going to switch to uh, called the Ask Me Anything Q&A session with you guys. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I like this beat. So anything you want to ask me, go ahead and shoot. Uh, I'll try to answer as many as possible. It could be about anything. It doesn't even really have to be about the beat be honest so go ahead and chat away and i will scroll and look for some really good questions okay so um oliver says ill mind uh you doesn't use any symbols for transitions in your beats question mark okay so i think i know what you mean so Oliver, you uh, asking why don't I use uh, symbols for transitions? Um, so sometimes I I do. Uh, I kind of went through this phase of like really going really crazy on my transitions. So like you know drum fills and and reverse symbols and crashes on the one and 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 for me it really just honestly it just all depends on the feel of the track and what I'm going for. Um, you know, when I'm producing like more pop music or R&B type of music, uh, a lot of times I will focus a little bit more energy on like transitions going in and, you know, in and out of like pre-choruses into the chorus and then post hooks and verse two, you know, interesting little things. So, yeah, I mean, for the most part, I, I keep it pretty minimal uh, when it comes to like shit like this, like trap stuff that's more straight down the middle and, and, and more straightforward. But um, yeah, definitely for sure. I'll I'll do like reverse symbols and crashes and stuff every once in a while, just depending on the feel of the track. Um, so Tony Ali O2 says, uh, "What do you think is better, M Rhythmizer, which is what I use, shout to Melda, uh, or Grossbeat?" Um, honestly, I've used obviously I use M Rhythmizer. Uh, I've used Grossbeat before. They're basically really similar. It, it's the same thing to me. I personally love. And rhythmizers presets uh, more than I do gross beat, but at the end of the day, they both pretty much do the same thing. It's really about how you use them, how familiar you are with those those software. You know, like how they move and like how they function each individually. So it's really just about how you use the software and like how familiar you are with each one. I my personal preference is M rhythmizer. Um, but the good news is that uh, for every, you know, all of you guys, like the less than 2% of you guys who actually make beats and Pro Tools, um, I find M Rhythmizer to be a little bit more stable than Gross Beat when using in Pro Tools. So um, that's another reason why I do use uh, M Rhythmizer. Also, too, uh, the company Melda, M E L D A, um, who created M Rhythmizer, they have some fucking amazing amazing plugins that you guys definitely shouldn't sleep on uh it's a lot of like audio manipulation stuff uh which is really good for like the sound designers and you guys who love to just like bend and manipulate audio so um check out melda productions i promise you they're not sponsoring me maybe they should but um i just love their stuff so i co-sign them heavy um all right so keep asking questions i'm gonna pretty much um Trying to answer as many as I can. So SCND Shift Consulting says, I noticed that the sample is pretty much the same throughout the track. Do you not find a need to differentiate between sections? Switch up to progression and what, whatnot. So for the most part, for this type of track, um, you know, this is pretty much like a straight down the middle, straightforward, like trap kind of beat. Um I approach this type of track in a way where there's just enough 
dif- uh, just enough that's like different in each section, but not anything that's too left field or too crazy to throw you off. Um, so the track as a whole feels linear compared to other types of songs. Like when you hear like a big pop song uh, from like Adele or like Dua Lipa, and then you hear the pre-hook and then there's a chorus. Um, that's all cool and fine for what that for the what that song does in terms of what it's trying to portray uh, emotionally. Uh, but for this type of track, um, you know, I feel the I feel that a more linear approach um, just feels better. So things like taking drums out or adding like a little synth bass, like that little synth bass I put in there um, over here. Uh, let's go back to this. Um, this little synth bass right here um, that I added. You know, and you can see that I'm labeling everything up here. Um, so this would be the beginning of verse two. There's a little bass cue here. And then this would be the second half of verse two. Um, and then you would have a pre-hook here where the drums come out. And then you have that repeating uh, V2 bass that comes back in. And you know, these, look, when you look at my sessions, Every single one of these blocks, every single one of these colors are characters in a movie. This is how I look at it, right? So, like, you look at this, this beat is basically three minutes and ten seconds, right? And this whole thing is basically one three-minute movie. And so, um, the way I approach it is I'm introducing certain characters when I'm creating this track. So... The, Character number one is this, the horns, and you know, that's that's sort of like the uh, the the hero. That's like the the main character of this beat. And then as you progress, things start to happen, you know. And then this little character here, which is this V two bass, right? Like that doesn't get introduced until the second half of verse two. You know what I mean? So like, and that's about a minute and 35 a minute and 32 seconds into the song so th- th- these are the types of things that i that go through my head when i'm making a beat is i'm paint i'm literally directing a movie i'm creating i'm writing a script i'm, I'm putting characters together um there's different uh themes for the different purposes for different characters like the drums and the hi-hats play different roles and the little synth bass and and sounds all play an important crucial role in telling the story and that's how i like to approach my music and that's also another reason why i love pro tools so um yeah i i think i hope that answers your question but i i also hope that answers many questions that you guys have in terms of like why I do certain things like why don't you have like a drastic change up or why don't you put like a drum fill it to walk in like a certain section and the answer to those questions are twofold one is uh instinct and the other is t- telling a cohesive story that people you want to keep people engaged and keep people interested um and that's a one part of beat making that I think a lot of producers um, neglect. Um, and I think over time it takes a certain amount of uh, taste level and training of your ears and, and experience to like really know how to storytell, right? And all of this stuff, honestly, guys, is just storytelling, all of it. Like it's all storytelling. What kind of picture are you trying to paint what are you what do you what kind of message are you trying to portray or are you just randomly throwing shit together which is also cool you know like that falls under the category of more experimental music or whatever you want to call it it's it's its own thing which is also fine you know it's all this stuff is subjective anyway but when it comes to creating music creating stories that people could relate to think stories that make sense stories that feel good that's the difference between uh, music that really resonates with people and music that's just 
created for the sake of being creative that might only resonate with a smaller percentage of people, which is also fine too. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've done all of it. I've done all of the above. I have music that is super experimental where I'm doing crazy technical shit. And like, that's, it was like a blast to make. Like I had so much fun making that stuff. Um, but there's a time and place for it. You know what I mean? So that's, that's really it. Um, let me look at some more of these questions, right? Let's see. Uh, Critic Beat says, is Blab Chat still going to be happening during the lockdowns? Um, yeah, man. Uh, obviously, we have to take take a time out, a, a little pause on Blab Chat temporarily, um, because obviously I'm not able to link up with Atlas and, and you know, Glam and Perfection because of this whole lockdown thing. Also, we record our podcast at a podcast studio, which is shut down right now. So uh, I did put out one episode, which was with Murder Beats, um, which was basically like an Instagram live chat, video chat with him that we scheduled and put it together. And so um, for the most part, um, you're going to be seeing a lot more lab chat episodes that are in the vein of like interviews with people, but then also this type of format where it's just like solo, where it's just me speaking on certain things so um i'm actually playing around with this idea of uh creating a template here on youtube for my podcast blab chat uh and then doing like maybe q and a's and and talking about certain subjects but having it really like very uh tight and, and well executed uh, and then having those be the actual blab chat episodes as well because you guys have seen i've done uh solo blab chat episodes that I've, i'm thankful i get a lot of great feedback on so i'm glad you guys like the solo episodes as well so yeah man you know we're, we're gonna make that work you know I'm, I'm wrapping my head around the best way to execute that for you guys so um just look out for that soon for sure it's coming okay more questions here uh let's see uh five weeks beat says uh if anyone hasn't asked yet are you gonna do the beat battle that's been coming out with known producers uh, i don't know I don't know. My beat battle days are over. I've I've been there, done that. I've been in beat battles. I've judged beat battles. I've been there around the sun and back around and then back to the sun again and back. Like the beat battle scene is is I have so much respect for it and I love it and who knows what the future holds. But um, uh, as of right now, I'm I'm that doesn't really excite me. It doesn't drive me. Um, so I'm not really. Uh, putting really any energy into thinking about being in a beat battle or putting a beat battle together of any sort. Um, but I, I'm watching it and it, it's great and it's super entertaining. Um, but that's not really like at the top of my priority list in terms of like what's on my mind. So, um, Okay, so let's uh, let's keep going. What interface do you use? I use a Duet Apogee. I would pick it up, but there's a bunch of cables here, and I don't want to fuck my shit up. But um, I use a Duet uh, by a company called Apogee, and it you know it's got everything that I need for what I do. So, um, Shabazz Scott says, "Do you mix and master your tracks after you develop a masterful beat?" Um, yeah, I mean, if you've noticed in my process here. And I'll go back to this screen. Um, I basically, this beat was mixed uh, pretty much like when I finished the beat, it was already mixed for the most part. Um, when I'm creating music, I'm like subconsciously mixing my music as I'm creating the music. Um, again, another reason why I love Pro Tools. Um, and you know, you can see some of these plugins that I'm using, nothing too crazy. Like, you know, I'm mixing my, I've mixed my bass using Isotope 5 during the creating process. Um, some of the kick drums, you know, I added PSB Vintage Warmer. I've been using this plugin for like almost 10 years uh, and it hasn't failed me yet. And I use it on my kick drums and it's amazing. I use it for my bass. It, it, to me, it's just like my, one of my favorite um, go-to plugins for like, uh, saturation and really bringing like bass low end out um, so you know I'm mixing while I'm creating and that's that's part of the Pro Tools workflow um, so I'm not necessarily 
going back and mixing, mixing. Like, I don't need to. The shit is mixed already. Like, it sounds clean to me already. Um, so that's why I do it that way. So, uh, Kenneth Rippy says, um, would you be willing to receive a mixtape with some of your old beats from 50 and mobs, mob deep sessions? I'm up and coming from Brooklyn and I feel like you would fuck with it. Um, yeah, man, I'm always, I'm always list, trying to listen to like submissions from you guys, whether it's producers or, or artists. Um, I actually just opened up an email address for submissions for artists only so i'm talking to rappers and singers and songwriters and uh just artists not producers um if you're an artist and you're listening to this or watching this right now and you want to submit music directly to me for me to listen to um you have to send it to the email that i'm about to give you right now the email is submit at illmindproducer.com and I'll put it right here in the disc in the uh, chat room. Submit at illmindproducer.com. I don't know if you guys can see that in the chat, but uh, submit at illmindproducer.com. Now, let me be clear. That's only for artists submissions. Um, that's not for producers. Um, obviously, there are multiple channels for you guys, for producers to submit. Um, the first channel... Um, and most reliable channel is to join my club called the Illmind Platinum Club. And uh, shout to all my Illmind Platinum Club members in here. They're always consistently submitting beats to me, uh, sample loops for us to collaborate with. Um, and I'm always listening and choosing things that I really love. Um, I'm really like picky and I trust my instinct in terms of who I collaborate with. Um, but all of my Illmind Platinum Club members right now are the only ones that get like first um, priority when it comes to where I lend my ears. Um, uh, so first priority for my ears and for my listening is uh, I'm automatically going to always be my Illmind Platinum Club members. Um, so that would be the best way um, if you're a producer and you want to submit music to me. And there's a bunch of other really cool things in my club. I don't want to sound like a fucking salesman right now, but um, if you really want to start engaging more, with not only me, but with other people, um, other, other of your peers and other people that have similar interests than that you do, um, the Platinum Club member is like the perfect place. So um, you see it, there's a description, there's a link in the description um, down below if you want to go, you know, check out the club. But so that would be the best way um, if you're a producer. Um, I don't really do like direct paid collabs or anything like that. I'm really just all about creating fire with people that give me goosebumps you know and i don't care if you're up and coming or you have a million grammys like if we work together and like i'm inspired by you and you're inspired by me like i want to make music with you so yeah that answers that um more questions i'll do a few more here let's see um Knight said, if the BPM is fast, should we create slower melodies and vice versa, or it doesn't matter? Um, follow your instinct. There's no rules. There's no rules. Like, follow, trust what sounds good to you and what feels good. Um, Fabulous VS says, do you make your own samples? Um, you must be new, Fabulous. So I'll, I'll let other, uh, other homies over here in the chat room answer that question for you. Um, but welcome to the world of Illmind Vision. Yeah, make sure you follow me and and uh, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, okay, let's see. Let me let me scroll up for some more questions from some of you guys. Let's see. Oh, okay, so this question I've been getting uh, multiple times. But uh, YW says, why not mix into T-Rex from the start? Well, it's just bad practice. Uh, when you put the T-Rex on there, you immediately color the sound. And you're kind of like in the red and past the 
threshold. There's really you eliminate any headroom you previously had in terms of volume. And so when you put T Rex on before you start creating, for me at least, I get a little bit confused by where I am level wise. Um and when I'm creating music, I need to have that headroom up there. So I know, okay, my snare is peaking at um eight and my kick is peaking at eight and a half and uh and this is zero through ten um and my bass is peaking at five and so uh, it just feels more organized and cleaner when i'm creating without t vax on my master so then i know how much headroom i have and then after it's all said and done and then i put the t vax on so you never want to in my opinion you never want to put a limiter or anything on your master while you're creating or before you start creating. Um, I guarantee you it's going to fuck your shit up. You, you, you're going to think you're doing everything right. And then at the end of the day, when your beat is done and you play it in the car or you get feedback from someone, they're going to tell you, yo, your, your shit's distorted. Your beat sounds la really loud and all over the place and things are just all over the place you know what i mean so like i would highly recommend against creating a beat with something on your master with a limiter or anything on your master in the beginning you want to wait until the end trust me when i say wait until the end just turn your speakers turn your fucking volume up if you want your shit to be loud while you're creating but never ever 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 put anything on your master while you're creating i highly suggest against it stolen drums uses mastering chain before starting good for him you know uh, i and shout to stolen drums i really like his shit um but that's his method you know that's fine um but my personal preference would be to not do that but um hey give it a try if stolen drums has a tutorial that shows you a way to do it and it feels right and it feels good give it a try no rules just just there's one thing I can tell you guys about this whole thing is that there's really no rules to any of this. Like, it's your way is your way. And it's really just an uh, analyzing the end result, right? It's did whatever I tried to do, did I get the desired result that I was going for by doing that particular thing? And if the answer is yes, then keep doing your method. Um, if the answer is no, then either keep doing it and keep trying or switch it up and try something else. You know, so um, there's no right or wrong with anything. Um, so, yeah, man, guys, listen up, man. Um, this was fun. You guys like the Q&A, post Q&A. Um, give me a yes or a no if you want me to keep doing these Q&As afterwards. I think it's a nice little addition to the making a beat live for you guys thing um just so we can communicate a little bit more you guys can get in the chat room and start getting to know each other and shit you know what i mean like we could all start building like this um cool i might do one-off q a's too on youtube just um uh, out of the blue type things um but we'll play around with the format so glad you guys enjoyed the beat like i said um as you know you might not know but the stems to this particular beat are about to be uploaded um, for my Platinum Club members. So if you're an Illmind, IPC Illmind Platinum Club member, um, momentarily you will have this exact beat stemmed out into waves, wave stems in your downloads, um, along with every single other, well, the previous five, most recent. But um, all of these YouTube cookups will go straight to my Platinum Club members. So like I said, I like to spoil my Platinum Club members because they deserve it. You know what I mean? They invest in themselves and I'm going to try to take my content and what I deliver, try to deliver to you guys to the next level and give them the, the real, real perks. So um, more kits coming. Shout out to all my Platinum Club members. Um, as you guys also know, I have um, lab sessions online coming very very soon um it's looking like if you look at the calendar over there over there uh april 17th is our first official blab sessions online a group video chat 
Um, so these are going down for the next few months during this quarantine. Um, different time zones, all that good stuff. So if you are a current Blap Sessions ticket holder, um, you can hit me up anytime and transfer your ticket for one of these online sessions or hold on to your ticket because eventually this quarantine is going to be over and I'm going to hit the road again and see you guys. So it's your choice. Um, if I were you and uh, if you're home and you're bored and you're inspired and you want to really start making some moves, I would highly suggest booking one of these Blab session online sessions. Um, they're filling up every day. So who knows when and what these things are going to be when they're sold out. But um, definitely look into this uh, if you're interested in engaging some more 20 upcoming music producers. Me and you and all of us in a private Zoom video chat room. And then I call you guys one by one. You come up to the front podium, the screen, and then you play your beat from your computer. And then I give you feedback on the spot. We're answering questions. It's uh, put it this way. It's almost like a therapy session where you step up to the podium with me and then we really start digging in one on one pause uh, feedback and uh, asking you questions and what you're trying to accomplish, um, what you want to do with your career, where do you see yourself really just it's 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 really raw, no holding back. What are you really trying to do? And let me try to guide you as best as possible um, to try to take you to the next level. And we do it in front of each other. Um, so other people that are in attendance could watch and learn and take notes. And then when it's their turn to come up, uh, we talk about their situation. So it's a really fun time, man. I've been doing these live in the studio um, in person for like three years in different cities and it's just been super rewarding for me and um, I'm really really humbled that it's getting some great feedback so so anyway we're doing it online zoom video chat it's fucking lit uh, hopefully we'll see some of you guys in the chat room right now we'll see you there um, the link is uh, down in the description if you want a, more information but um, I'll see you guys uh, April 17th for that but anyway I will see you guys very soon tomorrow you already know this is Monday through Friday 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, live cookouts. You pretty much become and, uh, what you believe. Q&A, you know, if I spend 90% of my day you know just producing so, music, and I do that for a year straight, doing, regardless that's of if I have a side job or so, not, um, if I'm spending most of my time making music, the universe comes in and puts a spotlight on me. This is all you do, this is kind of your calling. You gotta really trust the universe and trust yourself, and eventually you will become the thing that you think of the most. Tomorrow, I'm saying tomorrow, 10 a.m., another cook-up. I'm out. Peace.